God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for being with us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I'm Bishop Ramon G. Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our message title today is A Clear Picture. I will be reading from the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, and verse 25. Fix your gaze directly before you. My beloved, it doesn't take much effort to let your mind drift and dream, but it takes great effort to set your mind to the task of developing a clear goal, of having a clear and compelling dream. My beloved, we must be able to focus, and I know that during this time of adversity, it is hard to do that. My beloved, there have been many sayings by leaders who say a lot of things about having a clear picture of something that you want to do, whether it's for God or to enhance your lifestyle. But for me, the whole process begins with questions I must ask myself. The dream is always rooted in the dreamer, in his or her experiences, circumstances, talents, and opportunities. So I ask, what am I feeling? What are my emotions telling me? What am I sensing? What is my intuition telling me? What am I seeing? What is happening around me? What am I hearing? What are others saying? What am I thinking? What do my intellect and my common sense say? My beloved, a clear picture may come to you all at once in, let's say, lightning bolt fashion. But for most people, it doesn't work that way. Most people need to keep working at it, clarifying it, redrawing it. If the process is difficult, there is no reason to give up. In fact, if it's too easy, maybe you're not dreaming big enough. Just keep working on it because a clear dream is worth fighting for. If you can get a clear sense of where you are, what you know, and what you want, you are well on your way to understanding and embracing the thing God put you on earth to do. My beloved, Moses spent the first two-thirds of his life figuring out what God wanted him to do, trying to do things his own way, but only to fail. But he had a heart for God, and I'm sure many of you do also. I know I do. And he had a vision from God, and we also have a vision from God. And eventually, he succeeded, and guess what? You will succeed also. Let us pray. Father God, in Jesus' name, we pray that you give us a clear picture of the things that you have for us to do for you. Father God, give us the patience we need to wait upon you and the stamina to stand firm during all adversity. Strength to continue on no matter what circumstances are taking place around us. Thank you, Father, for this time of prayer as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty now and forever. My beloved, seek God for a clear picture.